this is gonna be an incredible Funko Pop for sure. Uh, kids are gonna want yellow raincoats, yellow hoodies moving forward. And you know, in my opinion, <laughs> in my humble opinion, this is going to be a better costume for for the Halloween season next year, as opposed to them wearing demonic imagery. You know, Th this is a good way to to evangelize kids, just like how uh, McDonald's creates a subculture because of the Happy Meal. Now it's our turn to dictate culture because of this. Okay, th this is one thing that that you have to know. There's a lot of anime profile pictures on Twitter, and you do see them posting pictures about our Blessed Mother, encouraging people to go to Mass, reminding people about how awesome the saints are. Obviously, there's a lot of degeneracy as well associated with anime, right? I used to watch a lot of anime back when I was an atheist. Um, there's a lot of negative things in there. But I do think a lot of the newer content that they're making and I'm um, seeing people send me is a lot more wholesome. And if they're going that direction, yeah, there shouldn't be any real issue with it. But it also does raise a bit of a red flag because of all the, well, the history and the bad history within anime itself. So, yeah, especially with paganism and, you know, with uh, a lot of cleavage being shown for a lot of these characters unnecessarily, it could be a bit of an issue. So even though it might start off all wholesome and stuff, which is great, fantastic, uh, there is a lot of negative things associated uh, with that type of art in general. Yeah, I mean, I agree with that. I think anime is kind of a hotbed for, uh, I don't know if I, I don't want to scandalize anybody, but with like humor culture, people who are attracted to cartoons, I had an interaction earlier with this Catholic account who's into My Little Pony. And like, I don't want to offend anybody. Don't don't think I'm singling you out, but like, he posted a picture of some cartoon guy making out with a My Little Pony and was like, my wife. And I was like, dude, you got to delete this and go to confession right now. I know, I don't know, like what, maybe it's a wholesome thing. Maybe it's ironic or something, but you should not be openly fantasizing and indulging in fantasies about making out with a cartoon horse but my take ultimately on luce um look i love the pope i'm not i will never counter signal the pope i'm not going to counter signal the church and just because we have so much opposition online i will obstinately say this is awesome go vatican go pope go catholicism because i know that gets on people's nerves um but it it just kind of strikes me as like out of touch and maybe i'm out of touch you know there's i'm not it's not just america that's catholic i know there are a lot of there's i mean there's a billion indian people there's a billion chinese people there are so many different people in the world and probably a lot of them like anime but to me it's like how many times do do we have to tell the church the youth just wants tradition and like holiness and reverence and we want to go back to like the way things were and they're just like oh wait you you guys like the latin mass here have an anime funko pop this is what the youth wants right and we're just like no well, no no we want we want the mass we want the mass the ages we want the saints we want to become saints and they're just like oh so anime funko pop right it's like well I'm just, I'm very grateful that we have all of those aforementioned anime PFPs on Twitter because I think they have a unique ability to take this and just run with it. And like, it was kind of the safety net where like the Vatican did something kind of cringe and now Twitter is making it awesome. And now Luce is going to become like the meme icon of 2025. And I'm, I'm looking forward to that. I would say the argument for um, Luce would be how you would approach a happy meal right it's, it's just a it's a fun thing and it introduces people to what what it's all about and here's my argument against luce right and i will side with all the trads that that are that are upset about this you know because i'm not taking the middle ground i'm just saying that because my kid saw this she's like dad I need a yellow hoodie, you know, like, because this is so interesting. This is so cool. But here's, here's my opinion, right? 
this is for the kids so we'll give it to them let them have fun with it right but for all the all the rest of the grown-ups i want the restrictions of the latin mass to be lifted yesterday i attended it's amazing it's what latin mass should be you know there's no there's no loud guitar noises there's no people clapping there's no holding hands in the our father and people aren't creating a ruckus during the sign of peace right and i mean just don't here's here's my advice for you guys if you just did leg day don't do it on latin mass day because you'll be kneeling and standing up and kneeling and standing up all the time right and you'll have a hard time you know so um please if, if the if the church can do this for the young for the young kids and give them this cultural icon that they're going to enjoy that's going to encourage them to go to church you know because you might see kids wearing yellow hoodies or yellow rain jackets go to mass in the rainy season because of this and now their kids want to go to church because of it i would i would say that's a good thing but for all the grown-ups who who just want to have the fullness of the catholic faith please give us the latin mass maybe january 1st 2025 right maybe that's the the surprise that they're gonna give us they're gonna take care of the kids give them something fun and then for all of us for the rest of us please give us back the latin mass